Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to give a doodle a test pick. Uh, I'm not going to make a capacity pick with this because I don't even know what that is. Um, but I'm going to make a uh, it scale 800 ton pick right here. It's 13 pounds. And uh, you know what, I just don't feel like pushing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep it as that. And uh, you know, I would say anyone that had one of these, you know, if you wanted to go any, I wouldn't even guarantee it for 13 pounds. I would say half of that, but it will pick 13 pounds and um, probably pick a lot more too. But then again, at some point, something's going to fail structure. I would imagine a boom, but I don't know. I don't really feel like finding out what the deal is. Uh, it finished a block. So that's what the block looks like, uh, 20 parts. Uh, that works really good now with the, uh, there's no load pulling through the hoist, nothing like that going on anymore. So, uh, that's working good. Um, uh, let's see, uh, everything else is working pretty good. Cable is wrapping nicely. I got a, I got a shitload of cable on here. I don't really know what I was thinking because it's got short, well, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking if somebody wanted to add a luff to this or something in the future, you know, and have four or five parts or four parts hanging off it like uh, like that one over there. Let's see. That one over there, you might need a lot more uh, cable. Or you might need this much to hit the ground with uh, that because it, uh, that thing straight up is like eight foot tall, which is like 400 foot. So if you're at... Uh, you know, if you're like running, say, six parts, 400 foot, that's that's 2,400 right there. Plus, you're going back to the crane, so you're almost at 3,000 foot of cable. So I really don't, I don't really know what I put on here. I didn't uh, pay that close attention. But uh, the uh, the boom uh, hoist here, it's working really nice. Real nice. The uh, with just a block on there, it uh, runs fine. Although the block weighs actually, this is a 14 pound test pick. Uh, another pound, 16 times 7,800 is uh, let's see, 7,800 pounds times 78,000. So that's probably another. Uh, it's probably more like 850 ton pick here. Yes, it's got to count your uh, rigging and your block and all that. So yeah, this is actually probably more like 850, I would say, because it, it, this here is a pound, actually a little bit over a pound, because it was like a little over a pound before I added that piece in the, in the hooks. So, uh, <clears throat> but everything else is looking pretty good. Uh, this one's got an on-off switch, you can see over there. Uh, and it's got a socket for lights, so I just got to get some lights maybe and put some lights on it, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, but once again, I really, this isn't really mine anymore, so I can't really get too stupid with it, uh, as far as pick and shit and all that. But I am going to pick this just to show what it can do. Kind of like a, you know, something they do with trains, I guess, before you let them out the door, right? All right, got the power on. Yeah, she's coming up nice and easy. You can see when I let off, it's at 20 parts that uh, I don't have to try and hold it with a trim or nothing like that. It just stops, which is nice. You got to have that. Uh, you got to pick it up. 800 tons, got to have 20 parts on this crane. So, uh, high speed up. That's pretty good. Now, it is out, uh, 
this isn't like one of them test picks where it's boomed up straight and it's like almost sitting inside the outrigger. This is out a little ways, you know. That's way more than 10 meters, which I think is what they usually test them at. That's probably more like, uh, you know, I don't know, 20 meters or something. But, okay, so she's in the air. Lock is performing nice. Okay, now we're going to try to do a little swing. So. That's pretty good swinging around with uh, 800 tons. Hey, there's no operator in that thing. Who the hell is running it? Holy shit. Blows right underneath the, the uh, center with the boom knife. Very nice. Nice and smooth. Just barely into the swing. Okay. We got a teeter totter situation here. Let's see. Might have to uh, boom up a little bit. You have to make an adjustment on that gear. Okay. There you go. Sometimes you get uh, too much weight forward. The gear down here disengages if it's not tight, you know, close enough. Which I might have to see if I can get that a little bit closer to the uh, ring gear. And when that happens, you got to try and get weight back to push that gear into the uh, the ring gear. Let's see. Uh, maybe you can see it. But that's what that was, what was going on there. So, anyways, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing back and see. Uh, I'm gonna boom nuts down a little bit, see what happens. Try some high speed swing here. Yeah, I guess it's better when you're swinging wide open, I think. That's the strain on it. All right, I'm going to boom down a little bit. Let's see. I think I'm going to be good for a little, a little way, so I'm not going to hoist down.
Okay, now I'm going to hoist down. Get a little closer to the ground in case she starts to go. Everything's still staying nice and straight, I believe. I'll check it. Yeah, it's, everything's nice and straight. Let's go a little more. Yeah, that's out there as a ways. Going down on the load. Like it might be getting a little. Let's see, that's no all there. She's still solid all the way back. Let's go a little more. I run out of headroom. You never know. Yeah, it's big, a little bit more too. Get a little extra. Okay, well, that's out there a ways. Uh, I would say that's out there 100 foot easily. 800 tons at 100 foot. So what what what's uh, what Greg does that? I don't know, like a 2,000 lamps in or uh, deep south maybe, I don't know. We'll have to look, someone's going to have to research that. So that's why I'm calling this a 2,000 tonner because a 1,000 tonner can't do that. So I think I'm going to stop right there. Uh, I'm going to hoist this up a little bit. I'm going to throw the scale under there. Just to verify this test, that this wasn't a, some cardboard that was painted to look like uh, metal. So let's go. Uh, all right, some pounds. I can't. I can't let off all the way because this might. This would probably. I probably would overhaul everything because I got a lot of weight on that tray, but. Okay, two pounds, three pounds, four. Seven. Eight. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do now? Now I'm gonna take the weight off the tray. So we don't have a stupid ass overhaul. So I've had a lot of those. They're not fun. Then you lose all your ribbon down there on your uh, your mast. Yeah, don't like it. So before you come off, you load. You gotta empty your tray out, just like Deep South does. Okay.
Let's, uh, I'm going to boom down now. Okay, we're off. Holy crap. I weighed that before and it said uh, 13 pounds. I don't know what's different. Anyways, uh, 11 aid plus the block is a pound. And so uh, we're, we're right there. We're like at uh, 12. Actually, the block's a little over a pound, so we're about at like 13 pounds. I thought it would, for some reason, on the other side, it weighed 13 pounds. I swear. I ain't lying. What the hell? I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's pretty damn impressive. Uh, there she is again. Um, uh, aerial view. Got all that, uh, that boom line. That's sweet, huh? Yeah, you can see it's clear. Hell yeah. I don't know, there's something about cable rigs. Love it. Love it. Look at all those, huh? Look at them 20 parts of line. Is that sweet? Damn. So, anyways, good job. It's a damn good operator in there. Guy's got some balls slinging that load over this drop off. Holy shit, if that would have got away, there would have been no getting back any of this crap. I feel like that video of them rigs going off the piers. So, anyways, that's where we're at. Uh, real quick, okay, I can shoot over 15 minutes now. This is the, uh, the conventional. I got it boomed down right there. I still got it. Install radio in that probably tomorrow. But uh, that's what she looks like. And of course, there's the old uh, the buffer. The test mule, but that's gone. I think that's going too. Now I do have to still add boom stops on this one eventually, hopefully by the end of the week. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me shut that switch off. Got a fancy switch now. Shut the radio off. Ah, that's it. So. So that's uh, that's the video for tonight, the action video. We have been having a lot of non-action ones. That was action. And uh, I'll unhook this load. So I, I know some of you might think my block is too big. But you know what? Tough shit. If you don't like it, go build your own block. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, the way, that's the way it is. I think I'm just going to keep this, I'm just going to keep this one like that. My next one I might modify slightly, I don't know. But, uh, that's it for now, I think. Um, and uh, maybe uh, we'll have another video tomorrow with the other uh, rig on the floor, the red one booming up. All right, I'm sorry this is such a long-ass video, I know. I know it sucks when they're this long, especially if your computer sucks like mine. Because if you keep stopping, it won't even show the whole thing. Hopefully, you got a better computer than me. And uh, signing off for now. And see you guys later.